Hello, today I'll be coding something I hope you'll find amusing. So let's get started. We're going to have an SVG and within it we're going to have a rectangle, actually a square. Now we're going to set a dimension for the SVG and let's say it's going to be something like 500 and then we're going to set the coordinates of the top left corner and this is going to be minus half the SVG dimension. So now setting the view box and we're going to use the array, the coordinates of the top left corner along the two axes, and now the dimensions of the SVG, and now we join this array with a space. Then we're going to compute an edge length for this square, and let's say it's going to be 80% of this uh, viewport dimension, and also let's compute the inner radius of this square, so um, that's going to be half the edge length. Okay, now here we're going to um, make sure that the middle point of this uh, square is right in the middle of the SVG. So that's going to be x is minus r, y is again minus, um, and then we're going to have the width, which is going to be the edge length, and then the height, also the edge length, and now we should be seeing something. Okay, and we are. Now, what we want to do is round the corners of the square. So here we're going to uh, read, come on, uh, we're going to uh, take a face element and this is going to be the rectangle, query selector, and we're going to get the maximum radius. And this one is going to be half the edge length. So face get attribute um, width. So uh, this should do it. Uh, and the animation is going to happen over the course of a number of frames. So let's say something like 32. And it's going to happen on click. So we're going to have add event listener click. Um, and here we're going to call an update function. Now let's see this update function. So uh, let's see what we're going to put within it. So uh, here we're going to have the current frame index f which is initially zero, the direction of the animation which is going to be minus one initially and um, here before we call the update function we change the direction always so multiply with minus one okay uh, here we update the current frame index by adding the direction and here we compute a progress which is going to be the current frame index over the total number of frames then we're going to update the rounding radius for the face. So set attribute. Um, and here we're going to have Rx. Um, if we don't set Ry, it's going to be taken to be equal to this. So this is going to be k times r maximum. Um, and here we're going to have request animation frame update. So that's this thing continues being called and now as you can see okay it seems to work okay but one more thing here we're going to set a request ID which is going to be null initially uh, and we're going to set the request ID here and we exit if we got to the total number of frames, if the frame index got to the total number of frames. So uh, if we got there, we're going to have cancel animation frame. We use the request ID here. We set the request ID to null again, and then we return. Now, something else we're going to do um, we're only going to do all of this if we don't have an animation running. So 
if no request ID, we're going to fix this. Okay, uh, so now we have uh, this and it works fine. Let's make it a bit prettier. So uh, let's say we're going to have something like fill gold. Okay, this uh, should do it. Next, we're going to make it look more like a face. So we're going to add some eyes. So ellipse eye. Um, and it's going to have a radius, let's say 0.1 times uh, the inner radius of that uh, face. Cell. And the ry is going to be pretty similar, 0.15 times that. And we're going to set uh, the coordinates of the center. And these are going to be something like 0.35 times r. And along the y axis, let's say minus 0.25 times r. So uh, this should do it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this i on the other side with respect uh, to the y axis. So I'm going to have use and I'm going to reference this. Uh, and then I'm going to apply a transform, which is going to be scale minus one one and this uh, creates a symmetrical image on the other side okay next i'm going to create a mouth this one is going to be a path um so here i'm going to have a starting point and this starting point is going to be something like minus 0.35 times the radius and then i'm going to have uh, 0.35 times the same radius and then i'm going to uh, just uh, take this and um, just uh, going to uh, copy paste this. Now I'm going to uh, remove some of the stuff here. Okay, uh, here I'm going to have a cubic curve. So uh, here I'm going to change some values. Uh, let's say 0 0.21, 0 0.14. So uh, this should do it. This should give me uh, the nice mouth curve. And what I'm going to want to do here for this path, I'm going to have a stroke current color of fill none. Um, then I'm going to have stroke width uh, 4 pixels. And then I'm going to have a stroke line cap round so um, this should do it now what I want to do is change the shape of this mouth so here I'm going to uh, read the mouth so I'm going to have mouth here and here I'm going to use path and I'm going to extract the coordinates from that path so I'm going to have um, well, actually, pretty much the same as here, except, of course, I'm going to have, again, it's going to be a mouth here, and it's going to be the D attribute. I'm going to eliminate the first M, so that's going to be uh, slice 1, and then I'm going to replace that C. Actually, I can do something like this. A replace this should do it nothing uh, and then I'm going to uh, split again I'm going to use a regular expression here so um, that should do it um, and now that I've split this I'm going to do one more thing and that's going to be map to integers, uh, map to numbers. Uh, so that's going to be something like this. So, uh, this should do it. Now I'm going to extract the y coordinate, the initial y coordinate of the control points. So that's going to be the initial. And then I'm going to have a range. And this one is going to be uh, twice the difference uh, between the y coordinate of the endpoint minus uh, 
that um, of the control point. So that's my range. And here I'm going to compute the current y coordinate. And it's going to be the initial one plus k times the range. So um, what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to uh, take this and I'm going to um, update. So um, I'm going to have mouth set attribute um, sorry so um, here I'm going to have the D attribute and let's see what I'm going to add here. So um, here initially I'm going to have just uh, the two elements in the array. So uh, that's uh, slice 0, 2. Uh, then at the end I'm going to have the last two elements in the array. So that's going to be something pretty similar, minus 2. Um, here I'm going to have just the values I had before. So that's going to be 2 and 4. Um, and here I'm going to have that newly computed control point. So um, yeah, uh, what's wrong? Oh, okay, I got it. So um, this one needs to be a string, multi-line string. So this should now do it. Okay, now let's see if I click here. Okay, uh, this uh, disappears. So uh, there's something wrong in there. Now let's see what's wrong. Um. Okay, let's um. Let's see what I have here. So, um, okay. That looks all good there. Oh, okay, I got it. That should have been global. That was my mistake. And didn't replace the C. So um yeah, it was missing a global flag there. Now this should do it. Okay, it worked. Okay, so um yeah, this is it. It can be prettified a bit more from the CSS, but uh, this is uh, the basic functionality as you can see it. You can find this uh, the link to this uh, code pen demo in the description below. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more of this kind of stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done on the web these days. Because I think it's pretty fun. In any event, thanks for watching.